Right now, uh, we're viewing an 85 horsepower uh, Kubota tractor with a BH85 Bull Hog PTO powered wood shredder. Uh, Daniel is uh, approaching the tree. He'll fell the tree, then he'll come back and attack it, reducing it all to mulch. Um, it will mow in both a forward and a reverse direction. Um, the design of the unit uh, is very conducive to, uh, to uh, the size material around we have here today, the pinion juniper. Uh, with the 85 horsepower he's got, as you can see, he's able to uh, reduce that rather quickly into a mulch. Um, we're using this for treatments for fire prevention, fuels reductions, uh, as well as habitat restoration. This mulch uh, for this application will stay in sight. Uh, it basically, it's adding organic material back to the soil. Um, in certain areas where you want grasslands to come through, uh, they will most often come right through this and uh, establish uh, grasslands right through the mulch. Um, this is uh, considered an invasive species here. Um, so it's best to eradicate it both for wildlife habitat and for uh, fuels reduction for fire prevention. You know, there's a place for slash and burn, and there's also a place for, uh, for mulching applications. And uh, the particulars of, of the area, you know, slash, the weather's relatively unpredictable, can be challenging with slash and burn. Um, with FECON, that's, that's not, a, not a worry. Um, the cost of slash and burn relative to the cost of FECON, uh, I believe it was stated earlier that uh, they're looking at around spending $300 an acre uh, for a FECON treatment. I'm not certain what locally slash and burn treatments cost.